Hello my friends, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can very quickly change the colour or hue of baked textures within Blender. So without further ado, let us indulge my friends. Okay, so what do I mean and why is this useful? Well my friends, this is a helmet that I sculpted in ZBrush, brought into Blender, exported it into Substance Painter, made the textures as you can see here, textured it and brought it back into Blender. Now if I wanted to change the colour of the helmet to say something like red or green, I would then need to go back into my texturing software, which was Substance Painter, find the layer that I've done with the colors, and then I'd need to change the colors, save it, export it, and bring the textures back into Blender. And it's a quite long and convoluted process. Or for example, if you found a material online, you've downloaded it, but it doesn't quite have the colors or the hue that you want, and you want to adjust it further, this is what you can do. So there's actually two methods of doing this, and I'm going to show you both. First method is as followed. Of course, you're going to need the shader editor open, if you don't have this view, all you need to do, click onto the right hand side here, click vertical split, drag this to the middle, then change the left window, this icon here from editor type to shared editor. Press N to hide this panel and just like that we've got the shared editor open. Okay my friends, so we want to change the colours or the hue of this, what can we do? It's actually very simple, there's two ways, the optimal way and the most fun way. The optimal way is as follows, between your base colour of your texture and the base color of your principal BSDF, you need to press Shift A, click on to search and type in hue. And literally that simple, if we plug this in by pressing the left mouse click, make sure that the color is in color. You can see we can now, if I hold down Shift, I can now adjust the hue of this texture. So if I wanted to make this a bit more green, I can change the hue. I can adjust the saturation. I can make it more saturated and I can bring the value all the way up to two to make it brighter. Now you can actually bring these values further than their maximum minimum points by clicking into it and typing in the value. So I can type in five, for example, and make it insanely bright. So that's actually the first way of how you can manipulate textures which have been baked. This is the original texture and color. But if I had a scene which is more towards the, the green hues, I can literally add a hue saturation value node. Now this is okay, but it's not necessarily the best and I'll show you why. So this is the helmet that I created and if I go back to my shader editor and I use the same method, you can see I'm able to adjust the hue but it doesn't necessarily look as good. There's actually something we can do to manipulate this further and give us the most amount of control with the colors currently in the scene. So how do we do that my friends? Very simple. Shift A and we're going to add a color ramp and we're going to plug this in between the base color of our texture and the principle of BSDF. And this, my friends, is how you can change baked colors and baked textures and make it look really, really good. So what I'm about to show you is insane. So if I actually flip the values of the color ramp, just like that straight away, you can see we have a completely different look. And as I'm adjusting these values, I'm affecting different parts. And the fun doesn't stop here, my friends. We can actually continuously add colors more than just white and black. So if I press this icon here, it's added new value and I can click onto the value and change the color so I can make this orange for example and look <laughs> look how crazy this is just like that I can move this to the right if I move the position of this you can see how much I'm affecting part of the mesh you can see why this is significantly better than adding a hue saturation node you don't need to stop here my friends you can keep going I'm going to add another value change the color to say a blue and I'm just going to move this across oh my orange disappeared let's bring this back there you go and you can position this as and where you want these beginning and end values do not need to be white and black by the way you can change this to anything i can make this red for example but i personally like it as white at the moment so i'm going to go back to that and we can keep adding as many colors as we want to make the image look significantly better than before so i'm going to show you a quick before and after i'm going to select into my color ramp node and press m which will mute the layer. This is the before and this is the after. And as you can see, this can be used to significantly draft up different variations of colors of your textures, which is really, really good. And it saved me time. I didn't have to go back into Substance Painter and change the colors of the textures that I created myself. I can literally stay in Blender, which is important. You don't want to be moving around too much and I can adjust the colors, which is absolutely insane. Now, you don't necessarily need to stay in linear, my friends. You can actually use ease, cardinal, B spine, and constant. And each of these will have a different effect on, on the colors. If I go to, to B spine, for example, it has a smoother gradient across the colors. If I go to linear, for example, you can see it has more of a hard stop 
So you can actually experiment with the modes as well to get different effects. But this, my friends, is the way that I would personally use to change colors of any baked textures or materials that you have in Blender. Again, it's best to use the best tool for the job because this method wouldn't necessarily work for the ground textures that I showed you. Anyway, my friends, if you like this video, please share, subscribe, comment, like. If you found this useful, then let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see more videos, then also let me know. Thank you for your time, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.